just before seven this morning. It's around high tide. An hour and a half later on the west side of the Palmetto Dunes Bridge. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday, April the 19th, 2020. Divine Mercy Sunday is a week after Easter and we celebrate what Christ is, Divine Mercy itself. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 20. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. What a lovely gospel about the mercy of God reaching out through the Christ who was born to be like us and live like us, but was greater than us because he was not just the son of man, he was the son of God. And he was crucified and he was resurrected from the dead and then he made his appearances. And because of this, we understand that he is mercy itself.